In this illustration, the units in the unit class POTS will have an equipment phase called VENTILATE added to them. The VENTILATE equipment phase opens a ventilation valve for a specified time if a batch is held or aborted. This same phase will be used in all three units, POT 1, 2 and 3. This is a scenario where using SFC type templates will save you implementation time. To implement this equipment phase, you will create an SFC type. To this SFC type, you will create a controlled strategy called ventilate. You will then create a recipe parameter called T length that represents the duration the ventilation valve for a pot will remain open when the ventilate phase executes. In this example, the ventilation phase ventilation valve is called V1. The ventilation valve is represented by a block contact. The ventilate SFC type is created in the Semantic Manager component view and opened with the SFC type editor. In the Characteristics dialog, the Control Strategy, the Set Point, the Timer, and the Block Contact are specified. The Control Strategy is defined, for example, by selecting Control Strategy and entering a name for the Control Strategy. The number 1 is generated automatically and can be queried in the Start conditions to start the Control Strategy. The set point, the timer, and the block contact are created. Two required sequences, run and hold abort complete, are developed. The sequences to be executed are straightforward. The main sequence of the SFC type is the run sequence. In this sequence, after the start command, the ventilation valve is set to auto mode. The valve is then opened. At the same time, the timer is set to the selected recipe parameter duration set point and started. The next transition tests whether or not the valve has actually opened and whether or not the timer has started. Another transition monitors the expiry of the timer. As soon as the timer has expired, the valve is closed in the next step, and the valve closure is then confirmed. The final step in the sequence terminates the timer in all situations, even if the sequence ends abnormally. The Hold Abort Complete sequence closes the valve automatically if the batch is completed normally, is held, or is aborted. The conditions for the start of a sequence are specified in the Start Conditions menu. To classify the SFC type as an equipment phase, the batch category EPH or equipment phase is selected. The phase is then available later in the recipe editor and batch control center. The new equipment phase can now be inserted in units and interconnected with actual valves. Creating the sequence would have been necessary in any case to control the valve. The extra effort involved in creating an SFC type as opposed to a normal SFC is more than compensated by the ability to make central modifications and the ability of creating instances of the SFC type. Note that there was no additional semantic batch engineering involved when the ventilate SFC type was created. The created equipment phase must now be linked to the POT1 unit. In addition to the existing phases, a new equipment module folder with the name Ventilate must first be created in the plant view in the unit folder. A CFC chart 
called Ventilate Pot 1 is then added to this folder. This chart will contain an instance of the Ventilate SFC type. A second CFC chart called Pot 1 Valve is also created in a subfolder called Valve Ventilate. The valve used to ventilate Pot 1 is configured here. A valve block is inserted in the Pot 1 valve chart in the CFC editor. The valve block is given the name P1V1. To simulate signals from the valve block, the Q control output is interconnected with the FB open input and negated with FB close. An instance of the SFC type is now created for part 1 and a connection established between it and the valve block that was just inserted.